This is how the amp looks after taking off the nice cover. We have two EL84s, they are JJ's. I'm not sure where, if this amp comes with JJ's or whatever. This is how I bought it. I bought it second hand with intention to modify it, so I don't really care. Those 12IX7s or ECC83s, whatever you call them, they're Marshall logo tubes. I really like the size of the transformers. It's They are much bigger than the transformers you will get from uh, Fender, for example, at this price point. From Fender you will get those little irons, which put out not much power and the tubes in fenders are usually restricted from giving you that full power so yeah it's it's really well built uh it's really ragged construction i will take the bottom cover off as well to show you the guts in a second as you can see the side of, size of the transformers is really nice so I hope they will stand all the heat and all the power which we will be getting through them. We have one preamp tube, one power, one phase inverter tube and two power tubes, which is a very simplistic approach and something that I like. I don't need like loops or reverbs or vibrato channels. Just raw good tone what i would like to get with these series of videos is to show you how easily you can transform already a nice amp into uh, even a nicer amp which you can use on recordings you can use on stage with no problems uh, i will show you how you can improve the tone you can improve how you can improve the way it was built. I have been modding Fender Blues Juniors for a while. Uh, they are also nice amps to be modded. You can easily have a bigger sound, have a, something like, what is it called, Hot Red Deluxe. It's almost the same circuit. You just need to change a few parts. And they are doing this probably because they don't want to cannibalize their sales on a hot rod uh, amp. And I think this is kind of what they did with the amp. So Vox doesn't want you to have AC30 or AC15. And this is really a great quality amp at this price point, of course. They don't want you to have an AC15 because AC15 they will sell you for twice as much or triple the amount you're paying for the night train so you cannot get the AC15 circuit inside you will get something different something experimental from their side because that's basically a AC15 with a Marshall EQ stack after the first gain stage which is I'm, I'm not sure if someone did that maybe cock amps uh, they experiment with the circuit designs a bit this is a good amp with something they change in the preamp to make it a different tone and I'm not sure where you would use this because the bright setting is too bright and the thick setting is too thick so you get, you cannot get into mid, into the middle uh, side of, of the circuit without modding. Okay, let's go and see the guts. I will not be spending too much time uh, inside because we will have a lot of chances to to be here in the next videos. The caps are stabilized with some kind of goop, 
which is a good thing for these caps. Components are also looking good. You have 400 volts caps, 630 volt cap. Uh, I have found that two of these resistors are looking sketchy. One of them is cracked. It's R3. I will look later into the schematics to see what it is. Nothing, nothing suspicious here.